Okay, so today we're going to be tying the Snozberry cart fly. I found this on another YouTube video, so I'll put the link below on what that one is, on where I got it from. It's a little different from the original one, but I do like this version a little better. I think it fishes better. But anyways, let's get started. So I'm going to start my thread with 140 denier um, brown thread. And, yep, 140 denier. And I'm going to wrap back. And what I like using is, is pheasant tail fibers. I like getting the softer part of the pheasant tail. And since, I, yeah, see these softer parts up here? I know we don't get them down here. Sometimes you might not get them down there. But sometimes these little, um, like this little softer part here, that's where you want it. Anyways, you strip off a few of these little fibers. I don't get too many. It doesn't have to be too many. Anyways, I try to line these up to my desired liking, like this. And I wrap a good few times and adjust my length accordingly. And I'm just going to wrap a good few times. Kind of get a little bit of a blunt stem. I don't want it too long. Short, and you might want to do that, but I don't do that with mine. It doesn't have to be perfect. I, I sometimes you might want to sorry I, sometimes you might want to wrap under the tail but I don't really do that and it doesn't have to be perfect anyway so anyways yeah so then what I do is I take um and originally the original one called for pom poms from the craft store I don't like them like that I don't think they fish as good so what I'm using instead is glow bug yarn I'm gonna wrap a good few times on the top and then what I do is I then take my Oop, we need to clip off a little bit of this so it's not in the way. Clip off a little bit of that egg yarn. And what I like doing is I take this egg yarn, and after you wrap it a good few times on the top, I just give it a few times around the base like you normally would tie an egg. Um, but yeah, and then I just give it a, one more turn here, and that would help. Oop, that's not. There we go. And then I just take my whip finish tool. Now, just so you know, with cart flies, since this is a cart fly, I do not recommend putting head cement of any kind on these because carts smell real good, and or any adhesive, especially high odor ones, because like I said, carts smell real good, and they actually can actually smell it, and therefore they actually may not hit your fly really. So I would recommend just doing a big whip finish like I did. And then I just clip off, I kind of make a half moon shape, kind of like I'm doing, like you normally would with an egg. Um, and it's a little big here, let me trim that up a little more. And you can always trim it up to your desired liking, like how short the fibers are on these. And, okay, it's a little more. Just a little more there. Trim off the extra long. I always get a few extra long ones. Spots here, like this over here and this over here. Yeah, and then I get a little, I got a little down here too. But yeah, just kind of trim it up. It doesn't have to be perfect exactly, but I kind of like it for, for looks, you know. But anyways, that's how you tie the Snozberry cart fly. Not that hard to tie. Very simple, but yet effective. It's really good on ponds where carp are, especially where there's mulberry trees and things like that. That would actually make this pattern really good because actually I think it imitates more of a mulberry Another good color you can probably tie in is a cerise and a few other colors as well. So change up the color of the egg yarn a little bit. But yeah, that's how you tie the snozberry. Thanks, guys. Ella, by the way, the snozberries taste like, no, strawberries taste like strawberries. The snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs>